The Mazda MX-30 of 2022 is pretty significant. Mazda has never offered a fully electric vehicle to the public until now. The brand's first foray into electric vehicles. Or multi-solution electrification strategy, is now represented by the MX-30. The MX-30 is a stylish introduction to Mazda's upcoming EV lineup. In the fall of 2021, sales began in California, and in 2022, sales will expand to other markets. The MX-30, which is based on Mazda CX-30 small SUV, has few features for a new electric vehicle. Its electric motor produces only 200 lb-ft of torque and 143 horsepower, making it significantly less powerful than other EVs in its class. Additionally, the MX-30's 35.5 kWh battery pack can only keep the vehicle running for about 100 miles on a single charge. Even though most commuters only need about 100 miles, this refers to EVs manufactured in 2015, not 2022. The majority of 2022's affordable EVs have a range of 250 miles and are better suited for longer journeys. The MX-30 has sharp handling and a classy cabin, like most Mazdas these days. On numerous levels, the Mazda MX-30 is an enjoyable electric vehicle. It has an interesting exterior design, a sleek interior that is eco-conscious, a lot of modern technology, and it is much more fun to drive than many of its competitors. The MX-30 is fun to drive around town in despite its lack of power. The electric drivetrain is predictable and smooth. The cloth upholstery is both aesthetically pleasing and breathable, and the front seats achieve a good balance between support and comfort. In terms of ride comfort and climate control, the MX-30 falls short. For its small car platform, Mazda eliminated independent rear suspension, which means that bumps show up a little more clearly at the back. Find deals on the MX-30 near you. The MX-30 isn't quite as small as the Mini Cooper Electric, but by numbers, it only has slightly more shoulder room for the passenger. Because there isn't much legroom in the back, it's best to reserve those seats for kids. Notably, the MX-30 has rear doors that open in reverse, just like those on the BMW i3 EV and, even further back, the eccentric Mazda RX-8 from 2004 to 2011. If you park in a tight spot and open both the front and rear doors, you'll be surrounded by the doors and have a wide opening to enter the back. The design of the doors requires that the front doors be opened first, making it difficult to ferry passengers in the rear, such as for school drop-offs. Side view mirrors that are mounted lower on the doors improve front visibility by freeing up space in the typical crosswalk blind spots. However, there will be some blind spots in the back if you do not have the Premium Plus model's 360-degree camera system because the rear pillars are quite chunky. We appreciate Mazda's rotary controller for the infotainment system for its simplicity, but we wish it had touchscreen capabilities. 
The MX-30 has a nice system that is actually useful beyond stepping in when you lose your cellular signal, despite the fact that onboard navigation is less common these days. Additionally, the premium package's 12-speaker Bose sound system offers a truly pleasant oral experience. Despite the absence of a wireless phone charger, power sources include two USB ports, a 12-volt outlet, and a 120-volt, 150-watt plug. It's clear that the designers of Mazda valued grocery space more than passenger space in the back. In contrast to the Nissan Leaf, the rear seat backs fold fairly flat and split 60 40ths, making it simple to load long items. With a generous open space directly below the drive selector for small purses, wallets, phones, and other items, the cabin makes good use of the available storage space. The cork trim on the clever flip-down covers for the cup holders helps to keep things in place and creates a nice, flat area for phone storage as well. Car seats are the only application for which the MX-30 is unsuitable. Your best bet for installing one is going to be in the middle, where it is less likely to affect front seat space, out of the three possible locations. Behind removable plastic tabs, the ISO fix anchors are fairly simple to access, however, space is your biggest challenge here. The Mazda 6.6 kW onboard charger is less powerful than most, but because the battery is so small, it can charge to 80% capacity in less than 3 hours using a 240 volt level 2 power source. If the conditions are right, you can also change the same percentage in 36 minutes with a DC fast charger. Regardless of the materials used, Mazda manages to give each of its interiors a sophisticated and slick appearance. Similar to the MX-30, Mazda offers a fairly standard 3-year-36,000 mile basic warranty, 5-year-60,000 mile powertrain warranty, and 8-year-100,000 mile battery warranty. Mazda, in contrast to other automakers, does not provide a free initial charging plan. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching.